Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Big surprise, today's story is Patch Tuesday. If you follow the security landscape, you probably know that the second Tuesday of every month is Microsoft Patch Day. And really, it's kind of unfair to call it Microsoft Patch Day now, simply because Adobe also shares this patch day. So it really is a big day for most Microsoft and Adobe shops to update their Microsoft and Adobe software. Anyways, let's dive into July Patch Day by the numbers. This month, Microsoft released 11 11 security bulletins fixing a number of vulnerabilities in a wide range of packages. These include their browsers like Internet Explorer and Edge, all versions of uh, Windows, their Office packages, the .NET framework, and even the VB script components that come with Windows. All told, they rate six of the bulletins as critical and the rest as important. Basically, if I were you, I would patch my browsers first, just because bad guys can use the remote code execution flaws in these browsers to exploit and drive by down download attacks. I'd also fix the office flaws and of course the scripting flaws can also help in drive by download attacks. Besides that there's also an interesting fix for a vulnerability in a Windows print spooler which could also allow remote code execution on victim machines. Anyways if you're a Microsoft user get all of these updates and do the critical ones first. Now Adobe Patch Day was no slouch either. Adobe released three security advisories fixing flaws in Adobe Flash, Adobe Reader and Acrobat and also something called XMP Tool kit. Really, most users out there, whether you're Windows or Mac, you have Adobe Reader and probably Adobe Flash as well. So there's a lot of people that have to update. The Flash update fixes over 50 vulnerabilities in this really popular uh, a web plugin. So again, these can lead to drive-by download attacks. Now Reader hasn't had any big updates in a while, but this update fixes 30 vulnerabilities in the popular PDF Reader. In a nutshell, if a bad guy could get you to open a malicious PDF document, he could leverage this to install malware on your computer. Again, if you use Adobe products, get the Flash and Reader updates as soon as you can. Anyways, the patch day story is kind of boring in my opinion just because it's so regular. Now that's not to say it's not important. Patching is one of the best ways you can increase the security of your network. But just to make today's story a little more interesting, I just wanted to also include a little fun news. If you're a Mr. Robot fan like I am, don't forget that tomorrow is the season two two-part premiere episode. Now if you haven't heard of Mr. Robot, it's a fantastic uh, security and hacking related drama that's on USA Network. I really loved the original and had an article series discussing the technical accuracy of the first season. Anyways, I recommend you go check it out. In fact, watch the first season if you missed it. By the way, I'll be continuing my Mr. Robot Rewind series on GeekWire, so if you enjoy the show, be sure to check out my Hackuracy series on GeekWire as well. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.